talking about the different kinds of momentum, there really are two different kinds, time series and cross-sectional. So time series is judging something relative to itself. So a good example of time series momentum is trend following. So if I want to say exit a position in an asset or a stock breaks below its 50 day moving average, that's an example of time series momentum because all I need are the prices of that specific asset in order to implement that strategy. So I'm just judging it against itself. Then cross-sectional momentum is judging things against other assets. And so that's what's commonly used in stock you know, factor selection strategies. You want to invest in the stocks that have the most momentum or the, the stocks that have gone up the most relative to their peers. And there, you know, there's a few different ways to measure that. Relative strength has been a popular one for a long time, which just ranks all stocks based on how far they've gone up over any given time period, say one year, and then assigns a score of 99 for the stocks that have gone up the most and one for the stocks that have gone up the least. And then if you're, if you're following a relative strength strategy, you would invest in those stocks that have the 99. 